So I, uh, I gave it a couple hours up at the pond there. I didn't get any action at all. Um, so I couldn't stay any longer, you know. I had to check out some other spots here. But another spot I like to try sometimes. Uh, it's one of those funny spots where like a lot of the time there's nothing and then every now and then there, you'll catch like an eel or uh, see something trying to swim up because uh, this feeds from the pond that I was at and the other direction there it, uh, it goes out to the ocean, out to the harbor and then to the ocean. So, uh, you know, there's always a possibility of seeing different things trying to come up here. It's a cool spot to, uh, that I like to check out. But um, according to the uh, tidal maps, like where they mark the barrier of where the tide, uh, tidal fishing and inland fishing is, um, it's past the, past the tidal line. So it's uh, considered inland fishing and uh, you can only fish there in season, right? So uh, I had to wait till April 1st to come back here. But, uh, here we are, I'm gonna give it a cast and see what happens. Just gonna try fishing with like uh, some bait, you know, I got some worms and some power bait. Look how high that tide is. The tide's so high that a second ago it was just uh, seeping through the other side. Wow, look what I just noticed. Tide got so high, all these little baby eels washed over the side here. This here, that's a baby eel. I'm gonna throw them back in the water here. They got the nickname glass eels for a reason. Now, these guys will probably make pretty good fishing bait, but uh, that would be illegal, so. I'm not going to do that. So, uh, we can go. These guys can probably survive quite a while out of the water. Noticed. See how see through this guy is. He's still alive. But the dead ones, they turn white. See? Not see through anymore. Not as much. There's so many of them. Like what I was saying about all the, uh, about how it connects to the ocean. Um, so all the eels, the baby eels, they try swimming up from the ocean in the uh, spring. And uh, they try getting up the stream into the lakes. So a lot of people might be scared of eels, but uh, they're an uh, important part of our ecosystem. Oh, they're still alive when they're super translucent. 
um, when they die, they uh, lose their translucency almost immediately, I think. Yeah. Tide's supposed to be going down right now, but uh, the water level just swelled up again. Oh, look, it's going back down. It's so weird. Yeah, I was standing here for a few minutes. Oh, there's another one. More of them. I was standing here for like five minutes before I noticed that these guys were all over the ground here. This guy's super translucent. spend all day doing this and I bet I'd keep finding them. They're so hard to see. There's so many of them. Yeah, there's more everywhere I look. Another one. trap here is for uh, catching baby eels, the ones I, that I found earlier. Um, there's a small amount of licenses that uh, people can get every year, and only a few people are allowed to uh, trap baby eels, it's, uh, you know, otherwise they'd be pretty dangerous. Opening day, I still haven't caught anything yet, but uh, you know, just being able to see those baby eels getting it, getting to throw some of them back in, uh, you know, that that still made it worth it coming out today. It would have been worth it anyways, you know, 